Good afternoon, 47. Your destination is Marrakesh, Morocco, where civil riots are looming. Your targets are private banker Klaus Strandberg and army general Reza Zidane, two of the conspirators in a sinister plot to overthrow Morocco's fragile government. Strandberg, a former bank CEO who stole billions of dollars worth of savings from the Moroccan people, was facing trial for investment fraud. But early this morning, a band of heavily armed mercenaries freed Strandberg from his prison transport, resulting in the death of several police officers. Strandberg now takes refuge at his native Swedish consulate, in front of which crowds of angry protesters have gathered, demanding his handover to Moroccan authorities. We believe General Zaydan orchestrated Strandberg's escape to infuriate the public and spark nationwide riots, allowing Zaydan to impose martial law. Operating out of a field HQ at a nearby abandoned school, he will no doubt use the riots to depict the Rabat government as weak and inept, and persuade the general staff to support a fully-fledged military coup in the name of national security. Our client, building contractor Hamilton Lowe, who stands to lose a fortune in government contracts, has hired us to prevent the coup d'etat. To do so, you need to paralyze Zidane's rebel forces and prevent the riots from escalating further, hence the double contract. This is quite the political powder cake, 47, so be careful. The fate of a nation is at stake. I will leave you to prepare. So hello and welcome to Will Plays uh, Hitman, I, I guess season one is what we should call it really. Um, so that was a briefing just now and these are the targets and this time no pesky virus to overheat. We can just use our stylish summer suit um, and to be honest I haven't, I, this is the first time I play this so let, let's go ahead. Um, I, I think I really think that the intrigue, the all the stories, the different targets and everything, they're all kind of self-contained. But I like that, that it's a season and it is sort of flowing Welcome that way. To Marrakesh, 47. Okay, the hello. The grows more tense by the minute. The consulate is under lockdown, but the protests are only a stone throw away from full-blown riots, and Zaydan won't hesitate to unleash his troops. So whatever you're planning, time is of the essence. Good luck, 47. Check, please. No? Okay. Um, right. What do I got? Said... Well, no one ever. Um, can we, should we start off and just subdue this guy? Or this lady? I think... I think this level's gonna be great because it's just... Um, look at all the people. Um, okay. So we've just made it out of this shopping district. We're still in it. Where do I go? Well, hey, hello. Come in. Come in. Come into what? This place? I can't. I can't. Um, I'm, I'm good. Thank you. What does this do? Turn off the... That seems really dangerous. How's your father? Doing well. Oh, hello. He's upstairs right now working on this novel of his, some kind of political thriller, I think. You know, airport lit. Oh, that's nice. So it doesn't <laughs> Airport awesome. lit. Well, he was you know. Years. Oh, headmaster of the school. The master key. You know, the one that fits all the locks. Oh, do you do tell. But that's nostalgia for you. Well, maybe now. Hey, good to see you, man. Yeah. Sir, this is a restricted right. area. The old headmaster of the school Zaydan is using as his field HQ lives right above the carpet shop. Mm, wouldn't have guessed. He kept the school's master key out of nostalgia. Supposedly, yeah, yeah, yeah. this opens okay. any lock in the building. Give your old man some credit. Very good. He might surprise you yet. Anyway, got to run. See you around. Got to run. Toodly poops, babla day. I love that I can sort of crouch and run. I only wish I'd figured it out sooner. Really? That's what you're calling it? Okay. Is there... Do I have a thing? 
when his best friend is killed by a Langley approved drone strike in the mountains of Pakistan. God. CIA analyst Nick Farda quits the agency in protest. <laughs> Three years later, Nick works as a freelance security advisor in Egypt. Hey, maybe he wrote the story for this game. Haha. <laughs> um, let's try and get some sort of throne. Like, like a wrench or something would be perfect. Um, because I don't see... I mean, I could use a coin. Oh, come in. Sure. Come in. Shall we use a coin? Let's use the coin. We all know how much I love the coin. And clearly... Wait, what? Oh, shit. Yeah, whatever. Um, and clearly... The coin is mightier than the pen. Strandberg? Isn't that the name of my target? Wrong button. What's the name of my target? Come on. Uh, it is Strandberg. We're at the embassy in Cairo expecting riots to break out. That is perfect. I should probably... Norwegian or Whoa. Danish. Really? You just happen to have the name of the guy? Um... Anybody here? Anybody out there? I don't even have to take him out. Great. <laughs> Probably not. Can I have my coin back? No. Whatever. Good use of a coin. Now let's get the fuck out. Um. Luxury apartments. All right. Luxury apartments, huh? No, you're darling. Oh my god. I can't believe we're in Morocco and everyone. It's talking English with an American accent. Um, yeah. Where is this? Oh, here we go. This is some great American music. All we Moroccans dance to all the time. Um... How, like, is this the most bustling market in any video game ever made? Look at this. Kind of wish I knew where I was going with this, but, um, get to the school. Oh, never mind then. I'm sorry. Um, school is that way. I, I, yeah, I, I, I went on and I remember uh, the last episode, the one before, I went on and I sort of, uh, Harked on the uh, the objectives and the the game telling you what to do, but you know what? I, I fucking need it. I, I suck. <laughs> the sudden realization is killing me. Oh, here we go. Okay. Yeah, that's not gonna work, buddy. Can't let you through. Okay, okay, it's okay. I can take a hint. Um, or can I? Hello, sir. You can't just come waltzing through here. Ah. Well, that's going to be a problem then, isn't it? Because... Wait, what's this? Yeah, let's track it. Crew spreads fake propaganda in the name of Crystal Dawn, the Pan-African Liberation Movement. This encourages Moroccan citizens to rise up and take justice into their own hands, which, of course, is exactly what Zaydan is counting on. Very okay, they wear masks. Now, according to the printing schedule, the crew is out hanging posters, and they are likely to wear masks. Let's just follow the the big white uh, marker, huh? I think if the sky was a bit bluer, I'd be as impressed with this level as I was with uh, Sapienza. But m my problem is maybe I'm just a big fan of nice bright colors like this here. Um, but clearly, look, I mean, look at this. How much effort must have been hey, put in this? I'll go find a spot and then we head back to the school. How's that? Sure. Mm-hmm. Okay. Wait. Which which spot is this you're going to, my friend? Really? Just here? Jeez. What does General Zayden want? Paper the whole city with these things? 
Um, I mean, no. Okay, good. Yeah, yeah. And a good day to you, my young friend. I like your hat and moccasins. Uh, okay, do I have a... I don't have a screwdriver for this. You get a soda can. A Dr. Pop soda can. Dun, 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 dun. I just need to take this guy to a secluded area. Where is he going? Like, damn, I could turn off the fan. I don't know why I'd do it, but okay. I, I really want this disguise. Let's go for it. Dun, 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 dun. I'm getting into it. Like, it's it's good. It's huh. I hope, like, I really hope my issues with the video cutting up on. Hey, look at that. That looks great. Okay, let's not let's not lose focus here. Um. Hey, buddy. No, no, buddy. You want to go over here? Oh, God, some people think they own the place. Yes, that's right, my friend. Oh, this could be perfect. Well, it wasn't meant to be. What's in here? Ah, oh, only I managed to... All right, all right. Let's follow the guy. Hello, ma'am. How'd you do? Let's take all the soda cans we can get, huh? Throw it at this guy. <laughs> oh, that would be horrible. What kind of person would I be if I did that? Um, and then I recall as, what, two, three episodes earlier, I was, like, murdering people right outside a church in, like, a graveyard or something? Oh, I could have poisoned that. Why didn't I? Okay, okay, oh, okay, we're just following him on his route. Route to route. Hey, what's up? Hey, buddy. How's it going? How's it hanging? Tip top, tiddly pop. Okay. I can pacify him with a fucking can? Ah, uh, as soon as I can, buddy. Yeah, you get in that cafe. I, I, I gotta do it, but I'm right back at the start, and... Like... What's what's this? Sapienza? Forget Sapienza! We're in a world of today now. Are you following me? I have this big rock back in the shop that I promised to the wife of a famous dictator. But I like you. You can have it. But this is a one-time deal, okay? Did you come all the way here to fucking sell me your shite? Okay. Get away from me! No! No, what? Get away from me! Take your sales pitch and stick it up your... Whatever the fuck your... Is he just gonna follow me? That is gonna make it very hard for me to kill this man. Or take him out in any way. Maybe I should be... I mean, not maybe. Oh, here's a wrench. Shut the fuck up. Oh my god. Is he still following me? I swear to god. No, don't. I don't want you to. Oh god. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, I gotta get out of this fucking... Hello. Oh, I, I think... Okay, from what I've heard of a lot of these sort of markets where everyone's like, Hey, hey, my friend, look, come look at this. Come... Okay, good. No, oh, what? Oh. Off you trot. Thank you. God damn it. Who noticed it? 
What? Who saw me? Excuse me? Well, you know what? Um, it seems to have worked out somehow. I mean, they're searching for me and everything, but hey. And look at this. It's beautiful. I love it. I love it. Um, you the printer? Sure. Why not? Nope. Never mind. Ah, uh, here we go. Here's the radio. Where's it coming out of? Got to be a speaker for this somewhere. Never mind then. sir. And don't touch anything. I want ink everywhere. Yes, sir. All right, you know what? Let's save here. And I think it's time for our episode to end. Um, I think we're already making great progress here in uh, in Marrakesh. Uh, and you know what? Here's a coin. Beautiful. It, well, that, what better way to finish an episode of Hitman than than picking up two coins? This is great. And I'll see you all next time on on Will Plays Hitman. And hopefully we'll get up to more hijinks with this lovely costume of uh, Osama bin Walter White.